OK, welcome everyone to our virtual um, open evening. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about the disciplines of um, travel and tourism, sport, public services and, um, and fitness and training programmes as well. So some of you may have joined us tonight and think, I, don't, I really don't know what, what course I'd like to do. So please listen to all of the, um, the speakers that um, are going to be presenting to you. You can always make your, your mind up at the end, or some of you may think already, this is the course that I want to do and I need to apply and I need more information and hard to do that. So um, the whole way through the presentation this evening is gonna be a live question and answering session. So please filter through and my colleagues will um, answer your questions as quickly and as proficiently as possible. Remember, there's no such thing as a silly question. So keep asking us and, and um, we will answer as quick as we can. So um, first of all, I'm going to introduce Alex and Alex is going to take us through the um, provision that we have at the college for travel and tourism. Over to you, please, Alex. Thank you, Tom. Um, good evening, everybody. My name is Alex. I'm a lecturer here at Cross Keys College and um, within the travel and tourism department. Also, there's my two colleagues, Sean and Sarah. I'm just going to give you a brief insight into travel and tourism, what we um, can offer here in Cross Keys and what courses we have um, for all um, different students. So welcome to travel and tourism. So the whole world is out there waiting for you. Just some of the careers in travel and tourism that our students do go um, further themselves into a cabin crew, um, tourism promotion events, management or a travel agent and the list can go on. These are some of the careers that all our ex-students um, when they come in to visit or to email us, these are some of the careers that um, they go into. So is travel and tourism for you? These are just some of the things that we think are really important um, for you as students. So if you do have an interest in these, then this may definitely be the course for you. So if you are keen to learn more about travel and tourism, um, if you are interested in a travel and tourism career, um, excited about the travel world and you love mixing, meeting with new people, um, jobs such as again, cabin crew or a travel rep, um, these are this, this, these course at all levels are definitely the one for you. So what courses are available here at Cross Keys College? So we have three um, courses that we run. The first one is BTEC Travel and Tourism Extended Diploma Level 3. This is a two year course and can be studied here at Cross Keys. Um, to get onto this course, you will need five GCSEs at grade um, A to C. Second is a City and Guilds Diploma in Travel and Tourism. This is a level two course and this is a one year course that again runs in Cross Keys. To be successful to get onto the level two programme, you will need four GCSEs at grade D and above. Then the other course we run is the BTEC Diploma Vocational Studies. This is Travel and Tourism and Hospitality. This is a level one course. Um, again, a one year course and again, this is studied at Cross Keys. All the travel and tourism courses that are available within College Gwent are study at, at Cross Keys. So some of the um, topics and units that you will cover will be marketing, customer service, holiday rep, global tourism and sustainable tourism. As well, you will learn about the UK as a destination as well as destinations long haul. So exactly um, all different places around the world which are of an interest. Alongside these three um, courses, you will study Welsh Baccalaureate. Um, for the level three, this is this will be an extra A level, and for the other two, it is an Agored qualification. Also, you will, if you do not pass maths and English at school, and you come um, with a D grade or below, you will have to resit these um, alongside whichever travel course you pick to choose. OK, so what else do I need to know? So here's just a couple of little um, brief explanations, a little bit that gives you an insight into the course. So this is a uniform course. So as you could see from previous slides, um, our uniform is grey with a um, green neck scarf. All our students are asked to purchase this before starting the course. Um, this depends on what you want, whether you want a dress or whether you want trousers and a tunic. And this will be £90 for two full, full outfits. 
the uniform is compulsory and all our students wear this on starting the course. If you do enrol with us, you'll be sent all the details um, about how you purchase a uniform and size and etc. This will be sent straight for you. So we go on various trips throughout the year and um, we plan these so they have um, links with all the units that you study in Cross Keys College. As you can see from the, um, the three photos on the slide, the first one is um, ourselves in Spain last year on a catamaran. This was our visit that we do every May um, with levels one, two and three students. The second one is outside a cathedral. We learned, you know, we do a lot to do with cultural and historical as well. And the third photo was in Liverpool. We do this as part of our UK as a destination. Um, we try to keep the price of all our visits and all our trips a minimum. And again, they are, the trips are not compulsory. Um, these are just an added extra that we add in. OK, if you have any questions about travel and tourism or you would like to know um, anything further about grades, uniform visits, transport to and from the college, um, please go into the Q&A um, section where my colleague Sarah will be more than happy to answer you to give you um, any answers to any questions. Um, if you need any email addresses, please also say this and we will happy to um, get in contact with you individually throughout the summer. Thank you ever so much for listening. I am now going to pass you on to Lauren, who is going to give you an insight into sport that you can study at Cross Keys and all the Colleguent colleges. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. I'm Lauren. I'm one of the sports lecturers here at Colleguent. So within College Gwent, we have a range of different sports courses. So they range from a level one up to a level three. So first of all, we'll start with our level one course. So our level one course is one year long. So it's a BTEC diploma vocational study in sport and public service. It provides a range of different um, progression routes where you can go straight into college, you can go into apprenticeship or into employment. It introduces you to both sports and public service whilst developing your wider skills. You'll be able to study a range of topics such as responding to an incident, um, planning and navigating a route, fitness testing, training and playing a range of different sports. You'll be assessed in different ways, so you'll be assessed through assignments, tasks and practicals. Completing this course, you'll gain a level one diploma in vocational studies You'll gain some wider skills through your GORED. Um, also then, you, if you haven't had your maths and English in a C grade, you'll be able to resit that with us within College Gwent. There's a few safety aspects of the course and there's a kit that will have to be purchased alongside this. Um, that's roughly around £110, um, which you will purchase once you've enrolled. Progression from this level one, um, you can go in straight into your level two um, diploma. You can go into a level two public service or you can go straight into part-time or full-time employment. So this moves us on to our level two diploma. So our level two diploma is a one year long course. There's, for the requirements, it's four GCSE D grade and above, but um, this course then is designed to extend your skills of a team and individual sports. So it gives you a wide base of knowledge. You've studied topics such as prep team sports, uh, fitness for sports and exercise, anatomy, physiology, so you learn all about the body and also you have a chance to actually carry out your own project, which is quite good. Um, you'll be assessed in different ways within this level too. Um, you'll have assignments, tasks, practicals, and there's also two exams attached to it. The timetable for this course um, is designed that you can join any academy or sports teams that's run uh, within College Gwent. So we have a range of different sports teams. You have football, netball, rugby, hockey, where you'll have that opportunity to join whatever sport that you want. On completing this level two, so you achieve your level two sport, you'll also achieve your skills within Agorid. And again, if you haven't had your maths and English, we'll give you the chance to reset your maths and English to redo them with us within College Gwent. There is kit within this course. Um, this course, this is a sports kit, so it ranges from 75 to 100 pound. It's not compulsory to wear within lessons. However, you'd be wearing it within practicals and any times you go on trips or visits for you. The progression routes within this, so you can go straight into employment. However, it's a great way um, to get into our level three sport. 
So your level three sport um, is a two year course. The course requirements are um, five GCSE C grades or above or the appropriate level two diploma. This is the course for you if you're interested in sports, physical health and you want a career within the sports field. It's the perfect course for you. We cover such a wide base of knowledge. It gives you that opportunity to go into whatever field you'd like within sports. You cover such topics such as sports development, coaching, fitness testing, training, uh, prac individual sports and loads of different things such as sports injuries, which you might have not done before. Again, this course is timetabled, so you'll be able to take part in um, the rugby, netball, football academies within the college. Um, it gives you that opportunity to go to training and play regular fixtures on the Wednesday afternoon. So while studying um, within College Gwent on level three, you'll also have a chance to complete additional qualifications. So you also have a chance to complete your level two community sports leaders. This is a great qualification where you can go and work um, within the community, developing um, the wider range of coaching and skills like that within the community, which is great. Also, your level two fitness instructor, YMCA, so you can work straight within the gym after this course. So it's very two good employability co uh, qualifications that are attached. You'll also have a chance to do your Welsh back alongside this. So whilst completing this course, you'll gain your level three and national diploma, um, which is equivalent to three A levels. You'll also uh, achieve your Welsh back, which is another A level. So, but then you'll also have these qualifications that broaden uh, your skill set to meet the needs of the industry, such as your YMCA and community sports leaders. Again, if you haven't achieved that C grade in maths and English, we also give you that chance to resit it with us within College Gwent. Again, same as the level two, there is kit involved in this where um, you can wear within your practice and trips and visits. So these are 75 to 100 pounds. Um, you do a variety of different trips and visits within any of the sports courses. So these could be going to uh, visit stadiums, going to watch matches, but also um, going abroad and doing work experience abroad. And also you have a chance to represent your college in the AOC Championship, which we've won the last couple of years as College Gwent where you can go and compete against all the different colleges within the UK, which is a great experience. We have a weekend away with that. Um, for the progression route to this, um, you can go straight into employment with the qualifications that we give you. However, you can also go into a wide range of university courses. Um, are there any questions regarding any of the sports courses? No, that's lovely. I'll pass you over to Glyn now, who will talk you through the public service. Thanks, Lauren. Um, my name's Glyn and I teach public services at College Gwent. Um, firstly, I'm going to look at the Level 2 Public Services course. This so Level 2 Public Services course is, um, is a one year course and to get onto the course, you need four Ds at GCSE, including maths and English. It's a full time one year course and it's a, it's a mix of theory and practical subjects such as crime, security, land navigation, volunteering, outdoor adventures activities. And on this course, there are two exams which are sat in the January and the rest of the modules are assignment based. We have numerous visits to the public services to get involved and see what activities and sort a little bit of training along the way as well. We integrate with the Army, the RAF, the Navy, the police and the fire service. As you can see from the photos, there's evidence of this. The sports academies at College Gwent are built into the timetable for rugby, football, netball and hockey, as well as maths and English, to which you must reset if you do not get a C grade at GCSE. Once completed, you could potentially move on to employment and through the Agorith uh, through the Agorith qualification that is sort of um, incorporated within your course, you will develop soft skills that can be used in employability. Also, once completed the course, you can potentially move on to level three public services. All right. Level three public services. This is a two year course, including. And to get onto this course, you need five GCSEs at grade C, including maths and English. It is a three A level equivalent. Again, as, the, as with the level two, you would study a mixture of 
theoretical and active modules such as war and conflict, criminology, security, outdoor activities, emergency planning. But on this course, currently, there are no exams. Alongside your, your course, you'll study your Welsh Baccalaureate Advanced Qualification, which is an extra A level, giving you once completed after two years, four A levels. Again, sports academies are built into the timetable for rugby, football, netball and hockey. Again, employer engagement is paramount throughout the throughout the course and um, visits with the fire service, the police and the armed services. And as you can see from the pictures, a great deal of outdoor adventures activity as well. Once complete, you can progress on to employment and also with your four A levels, you could potentially move on to university and study such courses as police science, policing, public services, fire and rescue, criminology, law, paramedic science and forensic investigation. All right, so that's the level three program. OK, so is there any questions? Would anybody like to ask any questions? Uh, none so far, Glenn. OK, again, I'd just like to add into that as well. Um, Lauren talked about kit. It's, like, it's the same with the public services. You don't have to wear the kit to every lesson, but for practical lessons, you do have to wear the kit of which there's a cost of that for seven, between 75 and 100 pound. And there are bursaries available for this kit, um, but um, they are they are worn as a, within practical lessons. All right, I would like to now pass you on to to Joel, who's going to talk about the fitness training programs. OK, thanks very much, Glenn. Uh, welcome. Good evening, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the open evening uh, tonight with us. I'm going to talk to you about the YMCA Awards fitness courses that we offer at Colleague Gwent. YMCA Awards being the awarding organisation that uh, provide the qualifications that we're able to offer to you. We run these courses um, at Blind and Gwent Learning Zone, Cross Keys Campus and the S Campus. YMCA Awards is a well-recognised awarding organisation around the world, uh, offering a suite of qualifications around the UK, New Zealand, Middle East and all of Europe as well. So you're getting well-recognised qualifications uh, with us at Colleague Gwent. We offer a range of part-time and full-time qualifications with us. Uh, so you could study with your, with your level two qualification where you become a qualified gym instructor. We also run diploma level two health fitness exercise instruction courses, which qualify you as a personal uh, fitness instructor, a circuit training instructor, a spin instructor and a physical activity for children fitness instructor. Where that allows you to progress then is on your level three personal training qualification. And again, we offer full time and part time options for these courses. So your certificate in personal training or your diploma in personal training will allow you to go off and become either an employed or self-employed personal trainer working in the fitness industry. Some of the niche qualifications we offer at our S campus then include your level three diploma in exercise referral and your level three diploma in sports massage therapy. These qualifications are niche and allowing you to increase your continuing professional development and provide you with further employment opportunities or to bolster your self-employment route that you've uh, undertaken. Everybody needs to start at the basic level two entry level. Um, so once you've done your level two qualifications with us, you can naturally progress onto your level three and onwards from there. So moving on to our next slide. So looking at the different pathways connected to level two and level three, if you're looking to study with us full time on the level two diploma in health, fitness and exercise instruction, there's a minimum requirement of four Ds at GCSE. You also need to be passionate about the health and fitness industry, which I'm sure you would be if you're looking to undertake these qualifications. Where does this lead you once you're qualified? It leads you straight into employment, either working for the public or private sector in the fitness industry. We'll be occupationally competent to be able to work in the environment. Ultimately, if you decide that you want to further your continuing professional development with us, you can progress on the level three courses in your following academic year, where you could study to be a personal trainer, which again can support you into employment or self-employment. So if you have aspirations of perhaps running your own gym or becoming a self-employed personal trainer and working out in the community, that could well be the course for you. Progressions from the level three personal training course would take you into the niche areas of exercise referral and sports massage. Exercise referral would be if you're interested in working with special populations. So, for example, you're looking to work with people with mental health conditions. 
people who perhaps are obese or people who may have arthritis or type 2 or type 1 diabetes, for example. The exercise referral course would be for you once you've completed your personal training course. The sports massage therapy course is another great option for you to bolster your qualifications and skill set because once you become a qualified personal trainer, what better to ease out the aches and pains for your, your clients with a sports massage therapy session afterwards. So what does this give you? As we said, it empowers you to become uh, more employable for the fitness industry or to increase your self-employment. And it also allows you to progress on to other specialist qualifications at level four. So if you've got aspirations of becoming a cardiac rehab instructor or a pulmonary <laughs> rehab instructor, it could be the courses that you may look to go on to beyond your level three courses. As we said, it definitely supports your employment opportunities moving forward. I'll open the floor to questions. Now, is there any questions from the from the team at all? Uh, no, Joe, no questions so far. OK, lovely. If there is any questions at any time, please don't hesitate to put the questions in our Q&A section and we'll be happy to support and answer your questions as we go in. I'm going to hand you back to Tom Corrigan. Now we're going to talk to you about the sports academies across the campuses. Thank you, Joel. Uh, we have a range of academies across College Gwent and they are our unique selling point. It's something that we're incredibly proud of. So whatever discipline you wish to study um, within the college, we'd like you and encourage you to come and get involved with all of our academies on all of our campuses. I'd like to start with the with the current Welsh champions, which is the um, the boys rugby team, which is currently an academy run from the Cross Keys campus. This is a professional academy, which means that we have training available just like you would do as a professional rugby player. That would include strength and conditioning sessions, one to one individual sessions, team preparations, analysis and most importantly, nutrition, making sure that you're looking after yourself. Um, we've had huge successes over the years. Um, we've had many learners um, go on to play professional rugby and also um, represent Wales in our national team. One of those ex-learners is Elliot D. Following on from the boys, we also have the female academy. Now, as an advocate for the provision of equality and diversity, we decided as a college to be the first in Wales to create a 100% female academy. Now, the girls that are involved in this academy, again, who are Welsh champions, may I add, and represent all of our campuses from Newport, Blaen Gwent, Cross Keys and Pontypool. The newest formed academy is the Football Academy. Now, this again is a full it's a fully it provides a full academy service and with the emphasis on the professional environment the coaches and the lecturers that will um will take you on and develop your football skills will be right across the right across the campuses and um, training will be provided in the Cambran stadium so you get to use all of the facilities and also play the games on a, on a 4g pitch we also have the um, female academies. Now, what we would like to do is we would like to increase the number of female participants in sports as regulated by uh, the Welsh Government, where we recognise that there is a shortage of girls representing and being represented in Wales. We currently have, a, a, as we mentioned, a rugby, a football um, academy, we've got hockey, and we're really proud of our net, netball academies which are currently on our ASK, our Blaen Gwent and our um, Cross Keys campus. Um, Lauren earlier I talked about the AOC championships and she also explained that you would have an opportunity to represent the college at those, which and those events are always very prestigious and something we encourage. OK, so that brings us to the end of our presentation. We hope that you have thought it to be informative. I hope we've answered some of your questions. I know some of you will be considering what do I do next? What we suggest is if you're still unsure, have a look and contact us on hello at colleagueguent.ac.uk, just as in the slide and we'll put that into the Q&A session. Also, you may still be undecided about what careers you want to do. So please keep asking us the questions, keep testing us and, and 
we will, we will give you as quickly and proficiently answers as we possibly can. Also, what we'd like you to do is if you want to do a specific course and you're dead set on doing that, then please apply. We, we have a course and a level for everyone here at the college and we look forward to welcoming you all in August at enrollment. Thank you very much.